Greens. We're live, a casual take with your boy Stephen Pepper, here to give a take off my chest. There's a reason why Lamar Jackson has two MVPs and only two playoff wins. He is not an elite thrower of the football. He's a dynamic player, but this has been my biggest criticism of him since he stepped foot in this league. Championships are won in the pocket, at the end of the day, with precision. Lamar made many great plays down the stretch of that game to put his team in position to tie it. But my issue is, when they got in position, needed to throw in the end zone, final three plays of the game, he choked. Oh, but Steven, if Lively had his toe in the line, what would you say today? Oh, but Steven, if Lively's toe was in bounds, you would say something different today. Okay. But it shouldn't have come down to that. He had two plays earlier where he missed wide receivers badly in the end zone. That could have tied the game before we even got to the lively throw. His accuracy was all over the place today. Couldn't throw the ball down the field. They lost by seven to the Chiefs. He was also all over the place in the AFC Championship game, where they lost by seven to the Chiefs. If you want to win a ring in this era, especially in the AFC, you're more than likely going to have to go through that guy, Patrick Mahomes, where you need to be on point through the air. In the last two games we've seen of Lamar Jackson, big stage, he wasn't. Oh, but Steven, he had 400 total yards of offense almost. He was electric. Yeah, I, I, I said on last night on social media, I think Lamar overall had a good game. He made many great plays to extend drives with his legs. But let's look at the passing, shall we? 26 of 47 last night. 273 yards. Yeah, 273 pass yards is not bad, but how many of those yards came off that prayer to Lively where Lively took it to the house? If you actually look at the air yards of his pass, look at the passing chart, it was all screens. It was all checkdowns. Now, some of it's by design to get Zay Flowers involved, but it's not like Lamar didn't throw down the field. He just couldn't. Every time he threw down the field, it was incomplete. It was either an overthrow or an underthrow. It was like there's no touch there. And then you compare it to the guy opposite field, Patrick Mahomes, clean 20 of 28, 291 yards, actually completed passes down the field. Much better game. It was even worse last time we saw Lamar in January in the AFC Championship game where he went oh, 20 of 37. Almost 50% of your throws are incomplete. He had a disgusting interception late in that fourth quarter where he had to throw it in the end zone. A 42.4 QBR and a 75.5 rating. Again, when you compare it to the guy that he has to beat across the field for him, Patrick Mahomes, a clean 30 of 39, 91 QBR, and 100.5 rating. This is not a rant of me going on that he's not quarterbacky enough like that dumb chick did last year. I think Lamar's one of the five best quarterbacks in the league. He deserves to play quarterback. He's not a running back. He's not a receiver. He's a dynamic quarterback. I voted him to be MVP if I had to vote last season. But you ask yourself, why does Mahomes keep winning these games? Why does Mahomes? We have the same amount of MVPs, two of them. But why does he have three Super Bowl rings and I got zero? Because he can make those throws. Well, why do people have Joe Burrow and Josh Allen ahead of me in the quarterback rankings when I have two MVPs and you open their trophy case, it's a bunch of cobwebs because they can make those throws. This is why I picked Mahomes and the Chiefs. I try to tell you guys all week, I got Mahomes winning league MVP and I got the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl because it's just like they're in the same spot the Patriots were in the 2010s. You can't, you got to pencil them in every single year. You can't doubt them. Because just like Brady, Mahomes is at that level where he can just keep making those throws in those big games. National TV, playoff games, against another elite quarterback, got to have it. He can just make those throws. Where Lamar, last two games we've seen him in the NFL, he hasn't been able to do it. Last night, other than Lamar, I thought the Ravens, it says they lost by seven, one score game. I thought it was mostly a disaster for the Ravens outside of that brilliant first first drive they had with Derrick Henry because after that drive, they forgot Derrick Henry was on their team. How many illegal formation penalties did they have? They gave up a bad blown coverage touchdown to Xavier Worthy. It was overall a disaster for the Ravens, but yet they still had a chance to tie the game, and if they did tie the game, if they did score that touchdown late, John Harbaugh was going to go for two to win the game. They were still in position. And Lamar, 
He played his heart out, so I'm going to give him credit there. He was really trying to will his team to victory in some spots when his team just didn't want the win. But when it came down to it, he finally got his team in position, possibly to tie to win it. Three plays. Couldn't make the throw. And that sums up what I think has been my biggest criticism of Lamar. He's just not an elite thrower of the football. But I appreciate everyone tuning in to this episode of A Casual Take. Follow my social media. Stay updated on all things related to the show. Till next time, see you.